Hi, I'm Helen and I'm going to show you how to make a mandala. So that is a shape or form made with organic materials that have different colours, different textures, all out of nature. So these can be done quite quickly, so you can make one in five minutes or you could spend a half a day making it with friends and family. So I'm going to have a little look around and see what I can find. So here I found some lovely materials to forage. So this is a nice lush green, so these can make some nice shapes. These are rhododendrons, so they are invasive in woodland, so I'm quite keen to cut them. You are also legally allowed to forage in hedgerows. Right, I think that's enough of that colour. Ah, now I wouldn't normally pick ferns, but this one's broken here. So I will rescue that so it can regrow. And then I can use these. They can make some beautiful geometric shapes from these. So here I found some beautiful cones and it's really nice. You've almost got two different colors here. So I'm gonna collect these. Right, I think we've got enough. Now I'm going to start making the mandala from all the various things that I have dried out. Old flowers and the foliage I've just foraged. So I've got a pine cone here in the middle, so that's going to mark the centre and everything's going to radiate out from that. So I'm going to use a little bit of lichen around the cone. Then I'm going to start using some of these leaves I pressed. So these are rose leaves. Oh, they look pretty. Well, I think I'm happy with that. One finished mandala. So you can keep it as simple as you like or you can spread it out to be more complicated. When you've collected and gathered different species, you can pick them up and you can look at them on a plant identifying app and see what you've collected. So it's also an opportunity to learn about nature. I think it's a good idea to take a photograph of it. If you use social media, you can upload it to social media, or if not, you've got a photograph of it for the memory of making it. And it's quite a fun thing to upload into a calendar. So again, you can make seasonal works each month. I hope you have a go and I hope you've enjoyed my video.